we're helping you plan around these wind gusts. Download our free Fox 29 weather app. We have up to the minute neighborhood by neighborhood forecasts. President Biden pitched his infrastructure plan today at 30th Street Station while also marking Amtrak's 50th anniversary. Our Jennifer Joyce is live at 30th Street Station. And Jenny, you don't have to be from around here to know that the president is no stranger to Amtrak. That's right. He used to ride the rails often as a U.S. Senator and even as Vice President of the United States. He says he knows the rails well and he knows that they are an important investment. President Biden in Philly celebrating Amtrak's 50th birthday. He is proposing a big gift, an $80 billion investment in the rails as part of his $2 trillion infrastructure plan. And repairing and rebuilding this vital infrastructure. This would allow for a, the potential to expand passenger rail service. Imagine a two-hour train ride between Atlanta and Charlotte going at speeds of 220 miles an hour. The president says billions of dollars will help improve our rails and better connect people with job opportunities in big cities. And two and a half hour trip between Chicago and Detroit or faster and more regular trips between Los Angeles and Las Vegas, a route that I imagine could be pretty popular on Fridays. Bill, as you've said, your vision for Amtrak calls for a new inner city rail service, up to 160 previously unserved communities being connected. Think of what it will mean for opportunity if we can connect Milwaukee to Green Bay to Madison, Scranton and Allentown to New York. You know, infrastructure is a beautiful thing to work off of. It's going to create jobs. People we talk to support the idea of expanding train access. Europe is so well connected and um, it'd be awesome if we could get a little more connectivity there. In PA, we're kind of lucky with SEPTA, but there's other people like in more of the rural suburbs who can't get anywhere unless they're driving. It's a wonderful way of transporting people. It doesn't use oil. Helen Evalev of Society Hill supports infrastructure improvements, but joined protesters outside of 30th Street Station to oppose military spending and demand a commitment to global access to the COVID-19 vaccine. Not something the president touched on today. Amtrak Joe, as he's called because of his frequent train travel from Delaware to D.C. as a U.S. senator, stayed focused on selling his infrastructure plan. The best days for Amtrak and for rail and for America are ahead. I really believe that. And I'm just confident, I'm confident we can get this done. to roads and bridges. This is President Biden's third return to the state of Pennsylvania as commander in chief. Shana.